Hi, and welcome to our Illustrator tutorial. To get started, you need to go to the Next Level Garments website, www.nextlevelgarments.com. Here we need to go to Products, because we need to download our templates first. Okay, we have different categories here for items. We have t-shirts, denim jeans, jackets, polo shirts, sweatshirts, baseball caps, and accessories. We go to t-shirts. So here in the header, we have downloadable templates. We uh, select the men's t-shirt. We go to the link, click on the right button, and then save link as. The file is a PDF file, so it's manageable with CorelDRAW and Illustrator. The next step is we go to Illustrator. Here we find the templates, which we just downloaded from the website. Now we need to make the files editable. So for that, we need to go to the Layers menu. But let me show you some few tools. The main arrow is the selection arrow. We can select any object on the sheet. The second tool is the direct selection tool, so which we can use to edit different points. Okay, now we need to go to the layers menu, which is on the right side. Here we can see different layers. Uh, at the moment, the object is grouped. So you need to click at the object, right click and ungroup. So we can we can have the object split into different lines, which we can later drag and drop and edit the way we like to do. Now the objects are editable. We can click different parts of the objects and have them manipulated. So now the second arrow comes in place. This is the direct selection tool. So for example, I can just click to any point on the item and move it along, just like you see here. I can edit the curves. But now we just need the regular shape template. So what we do right now is we First change the color, which we can do up here in the color menu. So for this I like to have a dark blue. So it should come out somewhere like a dark navy. Almost black. Just like this. Okay, and the next step is we will need a logo. We zoom in a little. So in this case we go with our own logo, the Next Level Garments logo. Copy the logo. And paste it on the other object. Need to change the order a bit, otherwise it will be coming behind the t-shirt. So that's what we have the layer order for. So here is the grouped object for the logo. Now just resizing the logo, we shrink it. The good thing about vector files because this is also an AI file we use for the logo. The good thing is those files they are vector files so compared to a JPG or PSD 
uh, we can shrink or enlarge to any size without loss of quality. That's why we use the AI file for logos mostly. And also like for any kind of printing, that's the best way to achieve 100% results. So better use the AI or CDR files. Your printer will love you for that. All right, so now we are already finished. We have a t-shirt with a logo. That's the way we can already send it to the factory. So if you use our template like this, put the logo on, you just write the details like the sizing and give us also the spec sheet for the uh, measurements of the t-shirt. And all you need to do is send it to us by email. All right, thank you for watching our next level tutorial. And uh, I hope we could help you further with this one.